Well, hello there, my beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing a full face get ready with me. We'll be using the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palette. I'm going to do two looks using this palette. So I'm going to do one look today and one look tomorrow and then combine them into uh, this one video. But I wanted to do a full face with you today, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I am going to use this L'Oreal Visible Lift Radiance Booster Brightening Primer. This is supposed to give you 24 hour hydration. If you've been following me, watching my videos, you know that I have super dry skin and I need all the hydration I can get. So, that's what we're going to start with. I've been kind of testing it out. This is only the third day that I have used it. So far, I am loving it. I'm then going to go in with, let's go ahead and try the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm still playing with this, seeing what I can do to make it work, and maybe this primer will help. I'm not really sure. So we're going to give it a go and try it out. I am going to go ahead and apply it with my um, IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Bye Bye Foundation Brush. And it always comes off more yellow. But when it sets down, it's not actually so yellow. It's a pretty good shade match once it sets down. And I really want this foundation to work. I mean, it was $50 for this foundation, so... It'd be nice if it would work for me, if I could figure out how to make it work. I do like to go over my eyelids. I have a lot of redness to my skin. And this foundation does a pretty good job covering all of that. We're going to go ahead and cover up these red ears also because why not my skin is just super red all over for concealer I have a new concealer to try today I got the hello fab bendy avocado concealer this is in the shade fair and that's really yellow Kind of bring it down the sides of my nose. This is a very lightweight. What did I get on myself? The foundation moved. Okay. Let me go ahead and take my beauty blender or my beauty sponge. And we're going to try and work that in. I think that this NARS foundation needs to be set. And as you know, I hate with a passion setting my face. But I am seeing that this... The foundation is moving on me. I am so sorry if I'm moving the camera. I just realized I had my hand on the table. And then I'm pouncing away with this other brush on my face. And so I may have moved and bumped the table. I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and use my Becca Under Eye Brightening Powder. We're going to go ahead and set... Okay. We're going to go ahead and set under the eyes. 
with the brightening powder. And I'm just using a very little bit of powder to do that. I'm going to take my Cody Airspun. I'm going to take a brush. And I'm just going to push that product in using the brush. I just, I feel like setting my face, instead of getting that flawless look, it gives me an aging look. Like I'm older than I am and I don't like that. And I'm just pushing it in so that I'm not moving the foundation around. because I feel like this foundation likes to slip. And I have no idea how this is gonna turn out at the end of the day. Um, this could be a very cakey mess at the end of the day or here in a couple hours. I really have no idea. So I'm super concerned about this turning into a cakey mess in a few hours. So we're gonna just move on because there's nothing I can do about that. I set my pretty much my whole face. Um, so we're going to go into bronzer. For bronzer, we're going to use this new palette I have. It is Tarte. This is what the packaging looks like. Very reflective. The inside has a mirror. It says um, Shape Your Money Maker. And this is the Shape Your Money Maker palette. I'm gonna go ahead and use the bronzer, which is kind of scary because it looks really, really dark to me. So I'm gonna use my Luxie stippling brush. I'm gonna attempt to go in lightly, kind of bronze up. Yeah, this is very pigmented. So I'm just, I'm going to get this on there and then we're going to kind of do the outer perimeter, perimeter of my face. I'm going to go in with a different brush and try to blend that out. Go ahead and do my jawline. I'm gonna take, take one of my unique powder brushes and I'm just gonna kind of buff that in a little bit. So it's not such a harsh line. Because we want this, we want to look flawless. And I know that like never happens, but I'm going to keep trying. For blush, I'm going to go ahead and use my unique Moodstruck Minerals Pressed Blusher in the shade Sweet. And I'm just putting a light dusting on and I'm pulling it back along the bronzer. Before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and exfoliate my lips. To exfoliate my lips, I'm going to use my unique lip exfoliator. This one was a limited edition. And it tastes like peppermint. But my face has been dry, my lips are dry, everything's super dry. 
and then I'm just gonna wipe that off. For highlighter today, I'm gonna use my Morphe Jaclyn Hill High Lighting Brush, and I'm going to use the Too Faced Diamond Light highlighter. I love it. It comes in this like jewelry box type style packaging. It is beautiful and I dug my finger into it when I opened it the very first time. It was awesome. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of highlighting here. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay. Let's see if I can't get those powders to meld together and get my face to pretty much like settle down and stop moving. And I just realized I have not done my brows. Let's go ahead and get my brows on. I have a new brow product to try. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Ride or Die Brow Duo. This is what the packaging looks like. I got this in this shade medium brown. I'm not sure. I'm hoping that it's not going to be too dark. I've never used Anastasia brow products. So it comes with the Brow Wiz. And I'm just going to do what I normally do, which is pull the color through, filling in any sparseness. As I'm doing this, I am seeing that my face is already starting to flake. Putting that powder on was not a good idea. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow and I'll be back. All right, brows are on and set. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm gonna have to keep using it, playing with it. I'm really not happy with the foundation and the powder on my face right now. I don't know if coming up close you can see, but it is dry and patchy and starting to flake. I don't know. I'm not sure how to fix that. Let's go ahead and prime my eyelids. We're gonna use, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eye Primer. I've never used this. And I'm sure a little bit goes a long way. Use my beauty sponge and kind of tap that in. And then I said we were going to go into this palette right here, the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair. And we'll do one look today and then we'll do another look tomorrow using the same palette. I had a request for that, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use a Tarte crease brush. It's this gold handled one. The sh I got it with the Shake Your Money Maker palette. I want to start out with this mustardy color right here called Emperor. Wow, there's an awful lot of kick up in that pan. I don't know if you can see that right there, but that is quite a bit of kick up. Go ahead and put this in the crease. I'm just gonna pick up some of the kick up to put in the other side. I'm gonna try this Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. I just took it out of the plastic 
and I'm sure it came with one of my palettes and I'm just going to blend this color into the crease and upward kind of diffuse it out a little bit and I didn't set that primer so blending might take a little while so I'll probably edit out, edit out some of this blending I got that blended kind of how I want it I'm gonna go ahead and take there's these three shades right here that I'm looking at so the first one the pink one is called princess the second one is called Lord and the third one is called Aristocat and then there's this gold and that is called Imperial I kind of thinking let's kind of do the pink and then do the gold Imperial color in the center so I'm going to go ahead and apply this. I'm going to set down some glitter glue. I have this Too Faced glitter glue. I will try this on this eye first. I'm going to go ahead and use the pink one. And I'm going to tap that on the outside edge. And try and get in the inner part. So let me grab a brush and see if that will help bring that up to the crease sometimes applying these shades is so much easier with your finger but it really is a mess I'm gonna take Imperial which is the gold And I'm going to pop that right down this center. I'm going to go ahead and go back into Emperor, that first mustard shade. I'm going to bring that back because I do want it peeking out the very top. I have glitter all over my face now. Now I'm going to go ahead and attempt to do the same thing on the other eye. I really, I really like it. So, let me try it on the other eye and I'll be right back. All right, I think that was successful. We got it on there. It's not looking bad. I'm actually happy with it. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade right here. I don't know if you can see that, the shade right here. That is called Majesty. I'm going to run it underneath. Gotta love these ugly makeup faces. I try not to do them, but it happens. So I tried to connect the outer corner a little bit. I'm also going to take this really deep, dark shade right here it's called enchanted it's a green 
and I'm going to run that under there as well. But I'm going to try and keep that one closer, tighter in. That's all I'm going to do with that palette. I'm going to go into my highlighter and I'm going to brighten up my inner corner to highlight the inner corner. And this highlighter is kind of cool because it has different shades. It's like sh changes. It's like duochrome. Depending on what angle you're at and how you're looking at it, the color changes. So right now it kind of looks pink. I'm going to go ahead and pop that on the brow bone. For eyeliner, I'm really loving this Urban Decay 24-7 gold one. It's called Space Dust. Pop that in my waterline. Okay, I got a new eyeliner pen. This is the Sephora Dramatic line. And it's a felt tip. And we're going to try that. This takes concentration. I don't know if you can see the tip on that, but you have a thin side and then it's like super wide. So it's something I have to be very careful with because I don't want to screw up. This says that it will uh, last for 24 hours. So I'm sure I'm not going to wear it for 24 hours, but we'll see how well it holds up. For mascara, I want to go ahead and use my Lancome Big Monsoor Mascara. I've been really pleased with this one. All right, mascara's on. For lips, we're gonna go in with Tartist. It's the Tart Tartist Lip Paint and Birthday Suit. I think with what's going on with the eyes, I need a little bit of a nude lip. And this is the final look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure and subscribe so you don't miss out on any new uploads. Hit that notification bell. I try to upload five times a week. Right now there's a lot going on in my life and I haven't been able to keep up with that. But I plan to get back on track and start uploading five times a week again. And you will see me again in just a few minutes doing another eye look using the same palette. Back. Today we're going to be diving right back into this Royal Affair by BH Cosmetics palette. I've got my face on and we're just going to do an eye look today. To get started, my eyes are primed. I'm going to start with this lighter brown taupey tan shade khaki shade right here. That's called Empress. And we're going to lay that down in the crease. This is the second look with this palette. So I'm kind of doing a two in one. I did use different 
base face products today because I was not happy with yesterday's products. I'm going to go ahead and grab a blending brush and start blending that out. These are very pigmented shades. A little bit goes a long way. You really don't need that much. I am using the same eye primer that I used yesterday. It's the Too Faced Shadow Insurance eye primer. I liked it. It kept my makeup on all day. I didn't have any issues with it. It didn't seem to fade. Sometimes I primers don't work the best and your shadow starts to fade out on you throughout the day. I didn't have that problem. So I figured out it's the lighting that makes this eye look so much uh, deeper and darker but it's really the same like when I look in my mirror they're really the same. This one is not any darker. It's the weirdest thing is just the way that the lighting is hitting that eye and making it look darker. I'm going to use my blending brush. I'm going to go into this corally shade right here. It's called Lady. And I'm just going to take a little bit because a little bit really goes a long ways. And I'm going to bring that down into my crease. So it's kind of going from that lighter brown down to that pink and just going to work on a little bit more blending. Kind of found that these shades really need, they're so pigmented that in order to get a diffused look you really have to work on the blending on them. Okay, so I just took some extra time blending, trying to get those shades to kind of diffuse out a little bit more. So I've got that part done. I'm gonna go in with this super bright blue. And that is going to go on my lid. So I'm going to get like a little tiny brush so I can be a little bit more precise with it. So this is the brush I'm going to use. It's just a little tiny flat shader brush. And oh wow, look at that color. That is gorgeous. That is so pretty. I'm going to go ahead and spray my brush just using the Max Fix Plus. And this is one of those shades that you kind of have to pat on, I'm finding. When I try to swipe it, it's almost like disappearing. which is okay in the crease. But 
for the lid, I really want that color on there and I want it to pop. I really, really like that. It looks blue in the pan. On my eye, it is not looking so blue. It's looking kind of almost like a purple iridescent color. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna go into the shade called Lord. I'm gonna go ahead and run that close to my lashes. I'm also gonna take the shade Lady, the pink color. wrap that down underneath with that. That's all I'm gonna do with the palette. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Sephora Dramatic Line Liquid Eyeliner. I'm running a really thin line really close to the lashes there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side off camera. All right, so we got mascara on, the eyeliner in my waterline. I went ahead and threw in my Avon Super Shock Gel Eyeliner. For lips, we're gonna go in with one of my favorites, and this is the Too Faced Bunny Kisses Lip Gloss from the Dream, Dream Catcher Collection. It's like a super nude lip gloss. I love it. And this is the final look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads. And have a blessed day or night, whatever it may be when you're watching this. Thank you.